Fleet Street now. So what happened with your case yesterday then? Um, well basically there was a case in the name of Mr Dominic Lohan and that being the legal fiction, the person that they need someone to represent so they can administer the trust to make somebody liable. Um, so I turned up in honour, uh, walked into the courtroom. Well, first of all, I've walked into the building and uh, got searched. Gone upstairs to courtroom 10, saw that the name was on the door in capital Dominius Maxima. Um, Which is? the only medium loss of legal status. So, you know, I mean, they, they weren't going to butt fuck me completely. Uh, now, what, what happened was, I've, I've gone into the room and asked the usher if I could uh, speak to somebody about getting hold of the full legal bundle before we could proceed in the case regarding uh, Dominic Lohan. And he ha asked who I was and I said, I'm, I'm an ambulance curi, which is a friend of the court. A friend of the court is somebody who enters the courtroom stating facts. And the facts are, I'm not a name. So, he said, well, you'll have to ask the judge that uh, in the case, blah, blah, blah. So, if you wait outside, uh, they'll, they'll call in the cases soon. And there was only two cases scheduled for that courtroom for the afternoon. Then the usher came outside and he said, right, we'll deal with your case first because it'll probably be quicker. And I, went, I said to him, how do you work out it's going to be quicker? And he said, well, the prosecution um, are going to dismiss the case. I said, why would they dismiss the case? And he said, well, there's a lack of evidence. It's like, well, how do you know there's a lack of evidence? How do you know that who's turned up for the case? How do you know, like, there are no witnesses here? How do you know anything? This is all assumptions and presumptions before law. So, anyway, the, the case, he said, come on in, we'll, we'll sort it out. So I've walked in and I said, I'm here as a friend of the court. I believe there's been a mistake. I wish to seek remedy in the way of a proper notice. And instantly the man sitting in a big chair has said, go and stand in the dock. And I said, sir, you can hear me clearly as I can hear you. What seems to be the problem? And he said, stand in the dock now. All defendants stand in the dock. And I said, okay, that's fair enough. But do you have any proof that I am a defendant? He said, Mr. Lohan, will you please go in the dock? I said, sir, are you addressing me? He said, yes, I'm addressing you. I said, do you have any proof that I am Mr. Lohan that you claim that I am? And uh, at this point, he's saying, right, if you do not stand in the dock, then we will hold you in contempt of court. And I said, would that be criminal or civil contempt? And he said, you'll find out when you go downstairs. And I was like, well, if you can't quote something, then like, then they've moved on to something else instantaneously. It's all about fear and keeping you in fear so they can control you. And he's like, well, sit down, just sit down now. And it's like, sir, I'm quite happy standing. I can hear you clearly, you can hear me. We are all equal before the law, what seems to be the problem? If they haven't got any fear or control of you, they cannot do nothing. Fear and control right there. Now, <laughs> at this point when, when he's uh, said that, they've called security up, security have come up, security have told me to go in the dark. I've, I've explained to them, look sir, I'm here as a friend of the court. Uh, I'm here to present the facts to the courtroom. I need the legal bundle. There's no proof that I am a name. Uh, the name in uh, the legal world will be the person, the person on the birth certificate. The birth certificate person is the legal fiction. I'm not a legal fiction, I'm not a corporation. I'm a life sentient being. And uh, in the end, the prosecution started uh, talking and they case dismissed it. So I walked out of that court as a free man and explained to everybody in the court building on my way out that you don't have to consent to their rules. We are policed by consent. And if, how they get your consent is by your own naivety. So it's um, a great success basically, isn't it? It is, it is success. Because if they want to try and stitch you up, and they will try and stitch people up that are realising that we are being veiled in slavery covertly by pieces of paper. Now you can be free from this by learning the rules of the game and the, the game being the game of life. The, the banking elites, the powers that be, uh, however you want to see them, the, these families have been controlling people for thousands of years. 
through mind control and manipulation, social engineering, the Tavistock Institute, Google Tavistock Institute and see who they are. Common Purpose, uh, training tomorrow's leaders, have a look who they are. Now these, these are just names and labels that these organisations have got to control people through fear and through manipulation. The thing is, if you want to be free from their game, the game of life, learn the rules because they forgot to tell you and they won't tell you. Of course. They, they don't want you to know the rules. Those who, don't, those who sleep on their rats have none. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Those who sleep on their rats have none, if you don't know them. So, learn your rats. Exactly, it's, it's all about the, the people in the world realise that en masse we have a corrupt government, wherever you are. Uh, you're being controlled by your own naivety, by the government, government being mind control in translation of the word. Then, if you want to be free from that, learn the rules of the game break free from these pieces of paper, the statutory instruments, the monetary system, yeah. and the birth certificate. They're nothing to do with you. It's their system of control, their system of fear. Yeah. If you want to be free from it, don't fight it. Then grow your food, forage. Grow your food, foraging. Learn skills. Spread you your knowledge. Share. Because the knowledge has value. Share the knowledge, become this is rich friends. Empty now. not over but people are definitely raising a lot less awareness about what's been going on in the system here but we're still carrying on they won't hold the evolution down let's Ngoni look yeah, yeah, yeah. Ngoni there standing yeah. meditating in the centre big him up yeah we'll get off on that note look on to commonly known as Dom's channel follow my stuff SGB94 on YouTube this is on FTM Records lots of love big yourselves up gonna go see Ngoni <laughs> Good morning.